In this video, I talk about how to know God's will for your life. Stay tuned. Hi guys, my name is Justin and I want to welcome you to That Christian Vlogger, a place where you get to come and join me and experience faith in the first person. On this channel, I chronicle my walk with God and answer questions that viewers submit like this one. So if you're new here, definitely subscribe. On this episode, I want to talk to you about how to know God's will for your life. Let me start this video by saying this. The best place for any Christian to be is at the center of God's will. And this doesn't always mean that you're going to be exactly where you want to be. But if you follow God's will for your life, you're going to be where you need to be. We know this as Christians, that it's important to follow God's will for our lives. But how many of us actually live this thing out? You see, what I find myself and other Christians that I meet oftentimes doing is making a decision on our own and then after we've made the decision, then we ask God to bless the decision that we've just already made. You see, we choose a college to apply to, then afterwards we ask God to help us get accepted. Or we're looking for a job and then when we apply for one, we ask God to help us get the job we already applied for. But to me, this seems really backwards. If I'm always making decisions and asking God to catch up to me and then bless me, who really is leading who? You see, the very idea that God needs to lead us suggests that at many times we're going the wrong direction. We think left when God thinks right and we think go when God wants us just to stop. And though we never really say it out loud, our actions betray that we actually think that we know better than what God does. The psalmist confessed that he had gone at times astray like a lost sheep, a notion I can definitely relate with. There are times in my life where my ambition blinds me and my goals and my desires overpower my desire to do God's will. And while this does happen in my life, during moments of clarity, I know this way of living to be foolish. Many of you guys are familiar with the famous verse found in Proverbs. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all of your ways, submit to him and he will make your paths straight. As Christians, the best course of action is always to seek God's will first in our life rather than consulting God as an afterthought. Yes, oftentimes we may find that God has a different plan for us and even a different goal than us. And sometimes this does mean being led down paths less traveled and oftentimes this does mean changing our plans and deferring to God. For me, I found that seeking God's will can be really difficult at times. It can be really hard to lay down my dreams and desires and constantly defer to God. And there are times where I don't care to do what God wants me to do simply because I just want to do what I want to do for a change. C.S. Lewis said something powerful that speaks to this idea. He said, it would seem that our Lord finds our desires not too strong, but too weak. We are half-hearted creatures fooling about with drink and sex and ambition when infinite joy is offered us. Like an ignorant child who wants to go on making mud pies in a slum because he cannot imagine what is meant by an offer at a holiday by the sea. We are far too easily pleased. Think about this. One reason why it's so hard to seek God's will for our life is simply because we are far too easily pleased. We're happy at settling for sloppy seconds and for cheap imitations of true fulfillment and joy. Do we actually believe God when he promises us that he will withhold no good thing from us? Or do our actions betray an underlying mistrust and skepticism? In my experience, the only thing that ever stops me from learning what God's will for my life is, is myself. The truth is that many times I lack the courage or faith to act upon what God has called me to do rather than being unclear about what he wants me to do. In fact, many times I already have a sense of what God is calling me to do and I'm just like Jonah being a wimp and doubting God. So while there could be much more to say about how to know God's will for your life, the first step is to ask yourself this. Am I honestly willing to follow God or am I still wanting to direct my own life? And if God called me to do something uncomfortable or unpopular, would I follow or would I try to do my own thing? The willingness to go where God calls you to go comes first. Being willing to say what God calls you to say or to do what he calls you to do comes before any techniques or tips on how to find God's will for your life. And I truly believe this, that if you're fully committed to doing God's will, God will make his will plain and known to you. Thanks guys so much for watching this video and I'm curious to know, what is an area in your life that you're seeking God's will? Let me know in the comment section below. 
Also, if you're new here, don't forget to check out some of our other videos at thatchristianvlogger.com. And if you like what you see, don't forget to hit that subscribe button below. Until next time, I'm That Christian Vlogger, and I want to encourage you to experience faith in the first person. God bless.